Hello students, welcome back. We are seeing about the building materials. Till now we have seen about the stones and last class we saw, saw about the bricks. Okay, so we saw what is a brick for manufacturing of brick. The first one is the composition of earth. And we saw what is a very good composition of earth and harmful composition of the earth that we saw. Right? Okay. Today in this class we are going to see about the manufacturing process of bricks. Before going in for the manufacturing process, again we will see in detail what are the composition each brick is made of. Right? Okay. So the next we will be seeing the next one. This is the bricks composition of good bricks we have already seen and various methods of manufacturing of bricks we will see today. So the, we will go for the uh, building materials are blocks of a single unit maximum rectangular in shape we call it as a bricks. It may be of clay, lime, concrete, fly ash with uh, any binding materials will be added. Okay. So and it is mostly add right or it is burnt and clean to get the uh, strength. Okay. So actually as a, this uh, already we have seen what is the uh, main composition of the brick is earth. Earth is, is uh, rich in silica content. Silica of uh, 50 to 70 percentage of silica content is needed in the earth, uh, earth so that the bricks can be composed. Right. So first we will see of the common burnt clay bricks. Common burnt clay bricks is the ordinary bricks. We call it as the other name as ordinary bricks. That is mostly available in the market. Right. So the ordinary brick it is made up of loam, mud. Okay. It is made up of loam, mud, sand and mixed with water. Okay. So the loam and mud it is sim simple different. That is it is of clay. Right. Both are clay. Clay is mixed with sand and water. And water that it is mixed in so that it will form a, a uniform mixture which is I mean again mixed with straw and husk, rice husk or straw. This you can see here now there are small small white blocks everything. There will be some cracks here and there. So which is mainly due to the addition of this rice husk or straw. Rice husk or straw acts as a tensile member or acts as a that is tension member not only it will give compression also it will give good uh, tension and one more thing with this bricks is that this bricks will not be heated in a clean to high temperature mostly it undergoes a sun dried bricks and they will use it it is only for the small huts and small buildings that they will use this type of common burnt clay bricks the second one it is the uh, sand line bricks okay so the sand lime bricks, the calcium silicate bricks we call it as. While we have seen, you heard this word calcium silicate in the formation of uh, cement, right? So the hydration process. Okay. So here what will happen? The silica sand. Almost very good sand is high in silica. Quartz sand is very high in silica. Ordinary sand that is available in the river, right? Okay. It is a very good silica content. That silica sand quick lime and water is taken and it is mixed together to form a brick we call it as a sand lime bricks okay so here you can see this sand lime lime is of white in color right so the bricks is mostly of white in color okay right the next one it is the concrete bricks so what is the advantage of this concrete bricks is that any shape any size we can make because of this concrete bricks but what is the disadvantage of the concrete bricks is the heavy weight, right? It is heavy weight, okay? So mostly, if I am going to take a building as a whole, right? So if you have a building, these are columns, these are beams, right? So normally it has a foundation below, understood? Okay, so this I will add, add again, okay? Right, okay, so it is having a bricks like this. What will happen is the what is the main thing is our rectangular. This gap is filled with bricks but this bricks will not uh, I mean contribute any load or only contribute any strength to the member but it will give the this load. This is bricks right. 
it will transfer load to this beams and then to the column to the foundation below. The concrete is very heavy. So when I am going to have this concrete bricks here, what will happen? Uh, the weight is very large, then this beam will be able to bend like this. The beam will have a, if the shape is like that, the beam will have a tendency to bend like this. Okay? Bend like this. So it is not advisable to use concrete blocks for, for the walls. But concrete bricks can be used to as a partition wall where the strength will you get as a, I mean footpath, the bricks in the footpath, everything that we can use it. Only for the wall structures, they don't go in for a concrete blocks, but concrete bricks is of very good strength. So what it is made up of? Powdered Portland cement. Always Portland cement is powdered only. Okay. So it is a powdered Portland cement we are using sand and gravel mixed with water. Okay. That is the uh, concrete bricks. Okay. So the next one we will see is the fly ash bricks. So fly ash is a waste material that is coming from the thermal power plants. Okay. So the thermal power plants, there are so many places in the India, one is in Neyveli, which is a very famous thermal power plants. So they take power from coal, right? They will mine the coal, they will take it, then from that they will extract the power, right? So this fly ash is a waste product from the thermal power plant and this fly ash along with the sand or the river sand, that is either they will be mixing the river sand or other types of sand or stone, stone dust, sludge, Lime, hydrated lime or gypsum cement. R, R, R is given. Okay. So, main thing I will tell you here it is that in this uh, bricks we will have a fly ash material. Fly ash mixtures mixed with the coarse agri that is a, a aggregate. The aggregate may be a silver sand or river sand or stone dust. Stone dust is nothing but the in the road pavement of the road, you should have seen the dust particles that is spread on the surface of the road to withstand the weathering actions. That is the stone dust. So sand, river sand or stone dust is taken and it is mixed with the fly ash. So the fly ash plus aggregate and to bind this to increase the strength, fly ash itself will not give so much of strength. When it is mixed with the cement or hydrated lime, then the strength get increased. So to increase the strength, to increase the binding properties, what we are doing is that we are going to add with the sludge lime or hydrated lime or gypsum or ordinary cement. Okay. So this is where this will be done in the molding machines. You can see and this is the fly ash flag, I mean fly ash bricks. Mostly it is, I mean we get the fly ash bricks in 230 by 110 by 70 mm. Even we can go in for any size of the material with our fly ash with this bricks. Okay, fly ash bricks. Any size we can go for. The next one, it is a fire, fire clay bricks. What is fire clay bricks also? The ordinary, I mean, uh, clay content only, but taken and it is heated to 1100 degrees centigrade. It is a normal brick that we are mostly using it in the field. Okay, so the, but the but are higher alumina content. There I told you for the normal bricks, the, uh, the I mean the content will be silica content will be very high, but here the alumina content will be much higher. Okay, so the, then autoclave aerated concrete bricks. Autoclave means it is under a controlled temperature. We go in for a brick manufacturing. So what will happen? It will have pores, so many pores into it. So that the temperatures will be retained by this, it gives us a very good acoustic, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the noise controller and also a thermal controller. It keeps the, I mean, inside of the room always a chill climate, right? So you can see different sizes, we can see the ACC blocks, we call it as not bricks, we call it as ACC blocks. So it is 600 by 200 by 125 or it is 600 by 200 by 250 by 200 mm or 600 by 300 by 100 mm. So what is this means? This is 600, this is 200, this is 125. Here this is 600, this is 250, right? 200. 
like that the bricks uh, that is the shape size of the bricks differs right so how it is made is that the main here it is again the fly ash right fly ash or silica film is very costly so they go for a fly ash fly ash limestone powder cement gypsum aluminium powder or paste they are mixed in a very good controlled temperature so the quality of the brick will be very good right so the next one it is a hollow blocks hollow blocks you have the seen in many cases this hollow blocks okay so it is having a block but the size of the bricks will be little bit higher right formally the hollow brick blocks comes like this without any uh, i mean uh, gaps and other things but here you can see in the next time and all the hollow blocks was coming like this with a uh, thing this is called as the interlocking natures so what happens now this block will have a interlocking which by which this blocks can be added to it for example one brick is like this means it will have a interlocking like this and the other brick will have a interlocking like this so it will be connected like this so the bricks will be connected in a interlocking manner so that the bond will be good and the uh, binding materials between two bricks binding materials means two bricks you must have seen in between there will have cement marker that will be having a less quantity okay so that is the hollow bricks next we are going for the manufacturing of bricks or manufacturing methods of bricks so in the manufacturing process there is four process that is there the first one is preparation of clay right preparation of clay okay the second one it is the okay after preparation of the clay content then we have to go for the mixing or molding process okay the second process is the molding process okay so the third one it is the drying process before burning the bricks will be dried in the open air so that the, all the moisture will go out right the fourth one it is the burning process okay so this is the four process of manufacturing of bricks we will see one by one in detail right so here you can see the first thing is the clay is digged in the using a digger using a hand method or it is using a machine but nowadays we are having going for manufacturing of many i mean uh, uh, numbers of number of bricks that is more than 1 lakh bricks per day so mostly we are going for a uh, i mean uh, machine man digging right so after this uh, uh, clay is digged it is brought to the site in the site they will have a metal grid you can see the grid is having what is the grid there is a small small uh, that is uh, seeds will be there right in a grid it is like this okay so where small small holes will be there so this mud will be allowed to move this and this grid will move like this it will shake as a shaker it will shake like this so what happens the bigger pebbles will be segregated at the top and only the fine particles will come down okay this fine particles will be taken and it will be taken to the mixed with more water right this fine particles of clay is taken and it is mixed with water that is the preparation of clay after preparing the clay it is taken to the mold right so the mold may be of a hand mold or machine molding or the ground molding any molding things that we will do after molding then it is taken to the oven for drying purpose or it can be kept in the open air in the sun for the drying purpose after it is drying for 24 to 48 hours then it is taken to the kiln kiln is the process where the burning action takes place burning of bricks what is the burning of bricks means brick they are increasing our te temperature to a very high degrees of 1100 degree centigrade so that the bricks will have sufficient strength in it okay after the clean it is again taken to the cooling chamber where the uh, bricks is brought to the ordinary temperature right then it is taken to the packaging pack and it is taken and it is delivered wherever we are it is needed this is the simple flow chart diagram which shows the manufacturing of bricks now we will see one by one in detail okay so the first one it is a preparation of clay 
right so the clay that is taken from the place right so which is rich in silica content mostly we will be taking right right so we will be taking the clay which is mostly rich in silica content you can see this clay that is rich in silica content it is taken and it is kneaded kneaded means like that of you are making a chapati na you will need the dough similar to that it is kneaded right after kneading process either it is kneaded with the help of a, i mean legs or it is kneaded with the help of a animal where most of the i mean materials will needed very thoroughly it is mostly an old process and these are nowadays machines are there for the kneading process okay so the preparation of the brick clay or brick earth to in this step the saw that is the, all the pebbles are removed by the screening process and it is kneaded by adding the water and it is made as a mold that is a, like the stuff it dough right okay so this is the process here okay the next one it is the uh, that is uh, we i will tell you in details right the soil that is taken it is taken and it is sieving is process then the soil storage are then it is preparation with the help of uh, water it is mixed uh, then it is uh, kneaded then it is uh, again covered in the kneaded mud with the, uh, for some time then it is taken and next it will go for the molding process so uh, what is the molding process is that for the desired shape that the uh, this uh, bricks will be molded to the desired shape right okay so here you can see this is one machine molding this is the hand molding okay so actually it is depends upon the type that is how much uh, uh, i mean the edges are very wire cut and are the edges are very smooth everything that we can see in the bricks method right okay so then now we will see the what are the different types of molding process okay so there are three types of molding process that is the hand molding table molding and machine molding okay so the hand molding all of you know mostly this is hand by the hand process it is molded and it will be like this it is taken in the we we'll have a wooden mold where it is kept and it will be taken by one by one this is the hand molding process here you can see right very well after mixing it we are taking it right then it is kneaded it is put it in the wooden core and we will be serving and the top post it is called as the uh, this uh, pug right form it will be which gives you the manufacturing name on the bricks that is the hand molding so the table molding we will have a very smooth table surface like this okay in which the uh, wooden mold will be taken and the soil will be all throughout the table it will be spread out at the uniform uh, height and this mold will be kept like this very fast so that the bottom part will be very smooth and the top part will be very smooth with the help of a uh, the, that is smoothener or with the help of a scale right so the next one it is a machine molding where the machine will take and it will give out a very wonderful bricks mold okay what is the main thing here it is that we can have a controlled process and we can have a controlled uh, that is the shape that is very good shape can be got from the mold and also the, the machine molding process what is another advantage is that we can have even 30000 or 50000 bricks at a time right this are the uh, process the next one it is the drying of bricks i told you after preparation of the clay that we are going to take it for the molding process after it is put it in the mold it is in a wet condition it is not dried before going in for the burning process we have to dry the brick why we have to go for drying of bricks if you are going with the wet bricks for the burning purpose it will distort it will crack it will shrink it will fade so we are going in for the this is a drying process so the drying process what we will do is that we like this we can have the bricks that is laid throughout the area and the sunlight will be falling on it and it will be dry this is one of the uh, i mean uh, this is sun lined bricks this is a ordinary bricks which is taken and in some cases to have a very controlled temperatures they will be having a house like this okay any shed a cottage a shed will be there under the shed 
they will have this bricks spread all throughout. Okay, so then it will be dried. That is what the next thing is there, drying of bricks. You can see here, it is done by two methods. One is natural drying process. The second one, it is artificial drying process. The natural drying process is uh, happening. That is the bricks will be uh, spread throughout and due to the natural the weather, natural sunlight, natural temperature, that brick will get dried out. Okay. So the next one, it is the autoclave method where the bricks are dried artificially. That is in a room, they will be sending a constant temperature. Right, it will be maintained 28 degrees, 27 degrees, it will be maintained. There is less temperature, but the sufficient temperature will be maintained so that the bricks will be uniformly dry. Okay, so it is mostly this autoclaved concrete blocks. I told you now, aerated autoclave blocks are made by this artificial drying process. Okay, so the last stage is the burning of bricks. Sorry, I have given drying, it is burning of bricks. Right? Why we have to go in for the burning of bricks is to impart the, to impart strength, the hardness, density, to increase the density of the brick. Okay. So it is very necessary. If I am going to take a, a clay content, it will break. Unless if I am, otherwise if I am not going for a burning process, the brick will not have strength. So the brick has to have sufficient strength. Sufficient hardness, sufficient density. For this process, we are going in for this burning. There are two types of burning is there. One is that the chemical and physical changes takes place. The brick, if it is burned to 640 degrees centigrade, will undergo only chemical, physical reactions. There won't be any strength gain will be there. No chemical changes will be there. The bricks will have the actual the properties of the soil itself, right? So what we are going to do now, we have going for a 700 to 1000 degrees centigrade. When it is heated like that, what happens? The lime inside the clay particles reacts and it performs and it will be, uh, I mean that small, small pores will be filled out, okay, which increases the strength, right? The fly ash or the silica material or the cement material, or the alumina material which is added, which will react with the uh, fly ash or rice ash, everything. That's a silica content in the soil and it will be it binded very thoroughly. The chemical reaction takes place and see that is the calcium silicate is formed, right? So due to the chemical reaction, calcium silicate will be formed, okay? This calcium silicate will be responsible for the Increase of strength. Okay. So the bricks will be very strong, stable uh, to prevent itself from the weathering action. Okay. So the next one it is the two types of burning is there. One is clamp burning and clean burning. In clean burning there is another two types. Intermittent clean burning and it is clean burning. Right. So open or clean burn. I mean uh, open burning. You can see that the this type right. Okay. You can see here. They will be having a brick chamber like this and the bricks will be added one above the other and there will be some heavy war, I mean the fire will be there and the burnt rough brick bricks will be there. You must have seen in some movies also, right? Okay, so you remember that one. So this is a temporary structure, it is having a low initial strength, the temperature control cannot be done and it is a open clean process. It is a very easy process. And very even uh, no actually trained person, skilled labors are necessary. So we will go in for this purpose. But it is a very good one because uh, 60 percentage of the strength will be gained by this process. Only one thing is that so many that is 30,000 or 50,000 of bricks coming from the machine molding cannot be done or burnt in this type of process. Okay. So the next one it is the intermittent clean. In intermittent clean, what is the main difference is that a organized one, right? A organized one so that the temperature will not move out. The can is taken so the bricks will be undergoing a temperature controlled room and the fire is there, the main thing and the uh, process will be there. Okay, so it, the, the, these two processes is not a continuous process. So we have to wait for uh, 48 hours or 72 hours or it will take even 7 to 14 days in the ordinary bricks. It depends upon the type of bricks. 
we have to wait for the burning process then we have to take the bricks out and we have to cool it okay so the third one it is the uh, continuous cleanse it is one of the Kaufman skin it is given there okay so where you can see that there is a uh, I mean a dome like structures which can withstand so much of uh, heat in it and we can continuous process one lorry will come it will brick the bricks and it will heat for 48 hours after that it will automatically move right like that of a train it will go coming so this process is a very continuous process the machine molding which is having 50,000 to 1 lakh unit of bricks every day can be taken here for this type of burning process. One thing that we have to keep it in mind, I told you 1,100 degrees centigrade, but if I am going to go beyond 1,300 degrees centigrade, the brick will lose its strength, it will distort, the strength will get loose, the, I mean color of the bricks will turn to black and other things. So these are the four, I mean, steps in the manufacturing of bricks. One is preparation of the clay, right? I told you this is the preparation of clay. Okay, first step is preparation of clay. Okay. First step. Second one, it is the molding process, mold. Okay. So the third process, it is the what is the third process we go in for the, it is the drying process, either in a controlled temperature or the sun. The fourth one, it is the burning process. So after the burning, the bricks will come out very good according to what the yeah, I mean uh, properties that we needed. Okay. So the next one we will see what is the properties of brick. Okay, this is a very important thing as a civil engineer you should know. Right, the first one, a good brick should be able to resist the effects of weathering agencies like temperature, rain and other things. It will be a very good brick will be very sensitive to the weathering actions. Whether it may be a wind or a sun or a rain, temperature, everything it has to withstand. And the color should be uniform and bright color bricks is necessary. A dull color shows that there is something missing in the brick. Okay, and the color should be uniform throughout. There should not be some white color here and they shaded one side, one side black color, one side a fresh color like that, it should not be there. The third thing, it is the shape. The shape of the bricks, the corner of the bricks should be very good. It is correctly molded, means we call, call it as a wire cut machines, right? Okay, so there will be, if, uh, before molding, if uh, this is the bricks now, it will be taken with the help of a wire. The wire will be there and it will be, I mean, cut into pieces. That will be very, very fine wire which can be cut and it can won't leave any distortions. Okay, that is, that is the edges should be sharp. The edges should be very sharp. The size should be uniform, right? So, the corners are uniform in size. The next one, what is the standard size that is prescribed by the courts? That type of size should be there available with the bricks. This is the, this is the four things what we saw is that it should be, I mean weathering agencies should be resisted by the bricks. Next one color, shape and also that we saw about the size. Next is texture. Texture means it is uh, uniformly throughout the bricks. The materials what we are using should be fine and also it should be uniform. It should not have that uh, lime efflorescence coming out. Somewhere the pebbles should not be seen. Somewhere the grit of the sand should not be seen here and there. Right? And also when, uh, when we are, uh, I mean soundness, the soundness of the bricks, how we will, uh, means if I am going to take uh, two bricks, okay, and if I am going to, uh, up, uh, that is rough with each other, right? I am going to take two bricks and I am going to, uh, I mean, uh, struck the brick with each other. It should give a clear metallic ringing sound. If the sound is not like that, then we can say inside the bricks there is some pores and the bricks is not having enough strength. Okay. So next the hardness. Hardness is different, strength is different. Okay. So what is the difference between hardness and strength? Already I have stones, uh, told in the stones. Remember about the wood and glass. Okay. So the scratching, the top hardness, the surface hardness we have here. If the brick should have it possess a very good hardness and water. After absorption in the 24 hours in the bricks, 
the brick should not absorb more than 20 percentage of water if it is going to absorb more percentage of water the brick is not fit for using as per the is code efflorescence efflorescence is the because of the lime what will happen now the bricks will the lime reacts with the sand and fly ash and other things the white uh, materials efflorescence materials will come and settle at the top right this will inversely affects the chemical reaction of the bricks okay that should not be there okay sometimes the sulfates of calcium sulfates of magnesium will also be there which will also affects the surface of the bricks and also the chemical reaction of the bricks right that should not be there that is efflorescence the thermal conductivity of the brick should be very less. It should be, it should not, it is not a conductive material. It should be non-conductive one. Okay. So, what happens when a brick is uh, as a wall now? If it is a summer, we should have a very cool feeling inside the home. If it is a winter, we should have a very warm feeling inside the home. That is the thermal conductivity. Then sound insulation. All of us know, uh, even in the last class I told why we need sound insulation. Because the acoustic, we should not be able to hear the next room what the person is talking. And the fire resistance, this is very, 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 very important. We will see in the next class, the classification of bricks. At the time, I will tell you how based on fire resistance, how the bricks are, uh, I mean, uh, classified. Okay, it should have a very good fire resisting property. And the next one, it is the uses of bricks. I will tell you some uses of bricks. The bricks are used for buildings, bridges foundation, arches, pavements, okay, this AT is coming here and footpath, roads, drains, tunnels, boundary walls, etc. All the things that we are using this bricks. So, bricks are widely used everywhere and it is uh, available from 2 point, rupees 2.5 to even 40 rupees there, autoclave bricks are 40 rupees, the hollow bricks are very big in size, it is 25 rupees or 14 rupees it will cost. And very good bricks, fly ash bricks is 6 rupees. Like that we can have. But we, depending upon the economy, we can go in for the bricks, type of bricks and we can adopt it. Okay. So the next one, we can have the bricks of different colors, different size, different orientation that is used for the aesthetics. That is used for the uh, bricks, uh, that is the designing plot, right. And the wall designers or the, uh, I mean, uh, compound wall designers, everything that we are using. And also we are using it in the metallurgy and glass industries as a lining material for the clean, right? Where the very big heat is going to be produced, we are going to have as a lining materials, okay? So actually it is a brick jail means we are having this is water. This is a lining material means we will have the internal part as a brick, right? This all will be bricks. So it will act as a jail so that it won't allow any temperatures to come in and go out. That we call it as a brick jail, okay? So the next one it is sukki. Sukki is used mainly for as a weathering actions in the uh, roof, right? In the house roof, everything we put a sukki so that the external temperature will not affect the internal room, that is uh, the, the roof and also the internal temperature. And it is used in the brick count, retaining walls, which is also the retaining the earth surface. So what are the main disadvantages of the bricks we will see? The main disadvantage is the time consume, consuming construction. I told you it has to be there dried for 2 to 48 hours, that is 24 to 48 hours. Then it has to be burnt, it will take even 14 days. It has to be lined up, then it has to be taken. For even kneading the, the clay, it has to be taken for 48 hours like that. So many things are there. And also the second one, it has a very good, uh, I mean, compressive strength, but it is good uh, tensile strength. Uh, it is having good compressive strength, okay. What is the other material that is uh, having a very good compressive strength is the concrete. Okay, the tensile strength is very good in steel. Right, you are studying SM1 now, you know. Steel is having a very good compressive strength. Concrete, this uh, bricks are having very good compressive strength and steel will have very good tensile strength. Bricks absorbs water easily so that efflorescence will hack, but we should be limited to 20 percentage. Okay, so the rough surface of the bricks may cause mold to grow if not properly uh, molded, more properly burnt and other things. Okay. So, what is that we saw in this class is that we saw what are the various type of bricks and what are the composition of the bricks. We saw what are the manufacturing process of the bricks and we saw what are the four process. One is preparation of the clay. Next one it is the 
molding process the third one it is the drying process and burning process and we saw what are the uses of bricks and we saw what is the disadvantages of the bricks the next class we saw about we will see about the classification of bricks okay now